meaningful. Alright, isa lang. So our lives will be full of meanings according to Bulay with Jesus. Now let's discover. So with Him, of course, we recognize that Jesus is our Savior and Lord. Alright? So we can express that through our behavior inside the church and outside also the church. No? According to uh, Brother Miguel, our yeah, Brother Miguel, you know already him, Jameson, he said last Sabbath that hopefully that all of us will not be only Seventh-day Adventists during Sabbath. No? Which is true, which is true. We're so excited to go to church every Sabbath and sometimes we forget that we are a representative of Christ. Pinuod man siya. So, according here, if your life or our lives with Jesus, we can, what? Share our faithfulness to the Lord and of course our generosity. Not only to the church, but you can extend our help to other people as well. That to really need help. So I hope that all of us will do the same. So, the title is... I don't know, I don't know title kanina. It's about Jesus. So, this one, it's all about Jesus. So, what can you say about this photo? Photograph. What can you say about this? Ah, see, it's your own. What, what can you say about that one? Fruits. Well, fruits. Fruitful. Fruitful, but it's a fruit. So, <laughs> this one, grapes, diba? Grapes. So, can you see grapes, di ba sakto ko? Grapes or blueberry? Basta kayo pari-pariho na ni sila. Ay, apple ni, no? Murang na sa'yo. Ito. Kasi ubas or grapes. So, as you can see, meron pang tinatawag na stem, ang ano? Vine, di ba? Vine pang tawag, no? So, because our text this evening is found in the book of John chapter 15 verses 4 to 5 so the biblical text that uh, we are going to ponder upon according here, remain in me which is Jesus and I will remain in you no branch can bear fruit by itself it must remain in the vine neither can you bear fruit Unless you remain in me. Verse 5. I am the vine. Not me, huh? Jesus says, You are the branches. If a man remains in me, and I in him, he will bear much fruit apart from me. You can do nothing. So it is very, very clear, right? That if we will remain in Jesus, there's big chance or a big a big chance for us that we can bear fruit. But if you will not remain in Jesus, it's maybe 0% that we can bear fruit as well. Have you seen a grape cut it from the vine bearing fruit? Never. Because a grape or a branch, one of the branches of trees, let's say trees or vines, if you will cut it from the the main anuba, main stem, it will always die. Except ng siguro sa malunggay. Malunggay, no? Ang kasaba? Karun pa po nakabalong, ang kasaba di ay, pwede na siya matawag na ito, ganun? Ganun ito? Ganun siya gilugaw? Gilugaw. Ah, di lima, oh. So the biblical context. So the biblical context. Let us look at here. With this departure imminent, Jesus assured the twelve that they will not be left alone in terms of his presence. In fact, God the Father will send them another comforter. Who is that comforter? Of course, the Holy Spirit. 
Jesus Christ promised, I will give you the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit in you. And He will be with them always to give them peace and guidance at all times. See that? Another one, the rule of interpretation. There is only one primary message to every parable. There may be secondary messages, but this exists to support the primary message. In, in teaching and preaching from the parables, we must allow the biblical text and context to help us find that one, that one primary message. What is that? Always uh, look or look, is that not pointing to Jesus? No, the parable is always pointing to Jesus Christ alone. Now, the textual observation. The phrase remain in me is used three times in these two verses. Katong nag-study of English nila, mga English major. Pag ibalik-balik na ganit yung phrase, ano tawag na? Ano? Limot ko sa mong topic yan. Ano po? Ano po? Ano po? Basta ka na yung balik-balik binaw. That means, na siya'y ginaimpasayas ba? Sa anak nga, nga, since it's a burial, Jessa, Jess, kung saan kita wagan na Jess, kanang ginabalik-balik yung statement, nakalimot ko, ganyan na ito. O, kanang nasi tawag, dili po siya ridandan. Kasi ito daw, sa literature ba, sa literature ka ng mga poem ito, gawag si repeat na ganyan na siya. Ano na, tawag eh. Ay, refers lang na ninyo ha, assignment na. O, basta i-repeat na ganyan na siya, that means there is something na very special to that Word. Oh, very significant, ba? Yeah, the author is trying to, to uh, try to can he emphasize the essence of that certain words. Basta kaya search ko na on yung mga word word. Mamino lang ito sa pan. So, oh, sa pan na hana sa Jess part na sa sa ano speech. Yes, kapila niya. Remain in me is used three times in these two verses. And if the phrase remain in the mind is also included, then the repetitive reference to many, it may increase as to four. Wow. This repetition would suggest that the act of remaining in Jesus is the primary message of these two verses. Why? See, nakuha ninyo. Why? Ganon din repeat ni siya. It is because this is the primary message of these two verses, my God. Ano tawag, Jess? Sa bigger speech, nag-start siya sa A eh. Ah, maon lang yun. So, inana na siya, no? Tuon yung tanin. Pariho lang siya ito. Nga, what? Nakita nandiyan siya ka rin. Textual observation pa rin. According to here, the pronoun me is used four times in reference to Jesus in John 15, 4 to 5. If we add the other pronoun I, which is also a reference to Jesus, this will increase this repetitive reference to Christ to seven times. So something is very important or very significant in this in this word. Grabe yun, no? It is because these two verses indicate that Jesus is the subject matter. So, unsa ka important thing? Kana bitaw ma, mahal kita, mahal kita, mahal kita. Eh. Ingna na pud ikaw diyan, diyan ka mo. At oh yes, ana pora. Mo na akong gusto ipasabot. Di ana pora. Ang repetition sa word ba, balik-balik. Para sa to, nahita po sa to, uh, nahita po sa Israelites, Israel sa una ha. Gani na mo gusto mo poem no. Nakita ni mo ba? I feel sad. I feel sad. I feel balik balik yun. Ina de sa ibon di pa sa bote. Nagrabi yun. Kaya kasakit, di ba? Muna ipon ni mga babae yung sahay na humana ng tatilang sentence. Mubalik na po sila. Kina ade na sila ginatawag na ano ora? Ha? Na sila ina na. Kaya kaya na daw? Ana ora. Muna sa part na sa second sentence, figure of speech na sa diyan. Kalian pun minta tahu sahaja nak. So karena karena pura magik sunan usuna sa mga babai. Nganung di balik balik nak ayuna selai. Iban sih kristu kita sabda sa mga bukuun ngan anak. No, 
Dosa ikan ni lelaki. Bagaimana ke Surya? Bagaimana ke Purno? Bagaimana? Bagaimana? Taman lah tu. Anak lah mati. Bagaimana ke Surya taman lah? Kan yang kebaik balik-balik ke sila. Ke sila menang kandawan sa. Gasa segi nubu. Adik ni buat segi nubu. So, mau nak saya nak emphasize kita ni. Matut pak ke balik-balik. Is Jesus Christ ni ay. Mau ang subject ni. No? Ingat pak di ni. Jesus used. Use the parable of speech. I mean, the parable of the grapevine and its branches to communicate one biblical truth and message to the to the disciples. Gigamit ni Christ sa sa iyang ano during sa iyang existence and message to his disciples. And that message to the disciples was remained in me. This is very significant, right? You have to remain in me. Because no matter what happened if you are in me, what will happen like? Huh? Yes, you will be always fruitful. So, nato yung kwan na nakita lang ako sa Facebook, ni Gawas pa, higun siya nito, if you are tired, you can rest, but never be. The last box of one of another. Now, you can't wait. I'm going to lay down. Puro ayaw kiyoki. Muna sa inyo pag nindot, no? Nindot kayo itong mag-share sa usang ka-doctor. Yes, dyan ni po siya yung visit natin. For Jesus' disciple to bear fruit, they must be connected with, or I mean, to the vine at all times. So the same thing with us. If we will remain in Jesus, there is no reason that we will not be successful in life. Siya lang yun, ipet lang kita kayo siya. Whatever happened, muna gigod ako sa ugaling yung Lord, your timing is always perfect. Kaya sometimes, we overthink pa. Now, I've been praying this for many times. I really love the quote, I quote ako ni Ganjessa. Ako, Jess, I thank you for sharing this. Ngayon si Jesus ay ang praise, correct me if I'm wrong. The, The things that we have received right now is the answer. The miracles of today are the answer. Are, are the answers of prayer, our prayers yesterday. Thank you for that, Jess. Which is true. Tama siya. Okay, I realized that the answer of the Lord to our prayer is always perfect. Sometimes kita raman gudo, bago na nga nili perfect. So, sa hai, di mga kalisod si kinapuhi, that's Dilip ba na mga mga tong tayo? Kung no, nalagyan na. Remain in Jesus. Basta kung sa akin pagloy-pagloy ka, remain in Him. Okay, si Jesus naman yun na nga ito. Masaligan. According here, remain in me for Jesus' disciples to bear fruit. And Jesus Christ said, be connected to, to me because I am the vine. Okay. Here, vine is Jesus, of course, we know that already in John, John 15, 1 to 5. The vine provides life to the whole plant. Am I correct? Am I correct? The vine provides life to the whole plant. And branches are dependent on the vine for life. So this is very true. Jesus is the vine and he gives us life in order for us to bear fruit at every, at every season. So always remember, brothers and sisters, without him, But whatever things that we have right now are nothing. No, whatever things that we receive right now are nothing without Him. So we have, uh, we need to be connected to the vine of Jesus Christ. The second stewardship is a lifetime process of being in and with Jesus. Now, according here, the relation link, right information. The right relationship, right behavior, the key to victorious living and experiencing the life of Jesus as daily, and it's called a relationship. This is the missing piece. You can have the right decision in your life. You can have the right behavior, but sometimes, what about the right relationship? Alright, so sometimes this 
is the missing piece that the Lord wants us to show. Not only to Him, but to other people as well. To our colleagues and not our uh, brethren. The right relationship. Now look at the vines. Very nice, no? Now, what is the vine? Vine referring to Jesus and the branches referring to? Stewards. And who are the stewards? Us. Now, kita ang mga stewards. The branches are dependent on the vine for life. And on their own, they cannot bear fruit. This is very true. The branches cannot bear their own fruit without the vine. The same with us. The same with our children. Our children cannot survive without their parents. And also us, brothers and sisters, we cannot survive from those trials that we're facing right now if we don't have Christ. Look at the places, some countries around the world, no? especially in Japan. Look what happened to Japan right now, no? but not all. Now, as a place in Doma for? For Anaba. Oh, place of suicide. Kasi may, sige, research on it. Kapulog ito sa naim, anak. Katong forest ba ito? If they were, they were depressed, but if they are depressed, they will just go there and kill themselves. Anay, 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 So, wala po sila yung guys. Ano nang a-place, Jess? Okihihara. Okay man ang tatayo siya, pero nagpagamatay na. May pretty man ang mingawa ng place good, no? Based sa ilang katong documentary nga akong nakita. Pag ang tao ganit mo sa ka na dito, alam na this. Di na lang siya kabalik. So it is because they don't have Jesus in their lives. Dili para sa ato ba? No? Dili para sa kape ng ambo. Mga pupri man tag, no? Isa may dato, dali, batas ang kamot. Agar puso na, tas ang batas. Ito, joke lang. Ito. Kitang tanang dali mga kagsunan, mga pupri, mga siguro ta. Ang pupri, mga pupri na yung kami. Pero, sa pag, kung sa gubang natin sa mga pagsulay, happy kihapon, kinaamot tayong Kristo. Kinaamot si Jesus atong kinabuhin. We have the mind, which is Jesus Christ. So, ang pagpakamatay mga kagsunan, pagkadapot sa iyo, no? Wala man ang yunong na sa mga Christian siguro. Ang ato ang mga survive ta sa mga lawan-law. Kung man natin yunong na. Ilingap, ako kagao na ni, lison na ni Pamela, pagkamatay na lang ko. Kaya kung wala pala yung ginoo nga, wala na. Kito yung ginoo kinabuhin. Pasalamat kito mga itsura, no? Stewardship is the living out of Christ's life in us through God's Spirit. So, kaya ang ginoo mga gina, namin din, naasa doon. God is always there with us, no matter what happened. Mura mo na siya ka itong parents ba? I realized how kaning yun sa sa ginoo pag describe ang iyong love to His people. Sa diha ang na-parents na ko. Ang na-parents. Manalig na ko. Sa diha ang na-parent na ko. Dito na ko nasabtan kung kung saan na hindi ginatawag nila ko agape na. Di ba dyan? Sa diha ang nalaga ko nito ako pata, we cannot fathom what is really the meaning of agape. Sa diha, ay, run. Di ba, pantangay dito ba? The moment that Isulod na ko sa salag sa kami niyo on that I have children then I realized what is the the uh, sa tawag ni totality in total the meaning of the word agape so that's that's our God sometimes we disobey Him but still He is faithful to us So I hope, brothers and sisters, na kita po mamahimot ng faithful to to Him. Again, ang potrohon, the missing piece is the relationship, is the right relationship. There should be relationship, I mean. So I hope that all of us will experience this one. Jesus left His followers, disciples of all ages, with a commission. It is good to analyze just what the commission is and to evaluate how well the various, the various ministries of the church for carrying out their part. For ministry circles, manuscripts, so gini, pakita dito. Now, this one, what can you see? 
uh, grapes gamon because we're talking about the fruit. So ang fruit, mo na ni siya ang stewardship. What is the vine? Jesus. What is the branch? Stewards. Talking about his people. What about the fruit? The stewardship. The bearing of fruit by, branch, by the branches is a natural outcome of connectedness. Murad, grabe ang hugot, ano ba? No? If you were really connected to the vine, which is Jesus, Jesus Christ, of course, the branches, which is referring to his people, to us, brothers and sisters, we could able to bear fruits. A lot of fruits. Dili to aslum na fruits. But thumbs the fruits. The sanctified life, which includes the faithful return of tithe, tithe, and giving of offerings is the work of God alone. So, brothers and sisters, any shama words, naara mi santo. Naara na santo. We cannot force uh, people, no? We cannot force individuals. It depends on your right relationship with God. Kaniba, kana, kana. Kana mo? The missing piece is the right relationship between you and your God. So the conclusion, conclusion na dam. What matters most in Christian stewardship and in stewardship in education, in stewardship education, is a personal relationship with Jesus. No? A Savior and Lord. The focus is to be Christ. And when Jesus is in the heart and life of the steward, which is the, the branches, the fruit will come naturally. So if we, if we are going to stay connected with God, last year, I am the vine which is Jesus Christ. And we are the branches. And if we remain in Him, and in you, in us, and He will bear, uh, and we will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Apart from Jesus, we can uh, do, we cannot do nothing. Apart from Jesus, we can do nothing, yes. So John 5, 15, I. So brothers and sisters, I hope that we learned something for tonight's message about the right relationship with Jesus. Hopefully that uh, we are going to inculcate that in our minds. So we will remain in Jesus and of course Jesus will remain in us. Thank you and have a Sabbath.